Hey guys, congratulations. Shay, I know your focus will go immediately to the Stanley Cup final, but before you get there, can you put this season in perspective, all the things your team has been through? And I know it feels like months ago, but both of you guys before the playoffs were hurt. So just all the stuff you guys have been through this season, how do you put it in perspective to be at this moment now? Yeah, um, we've been through a lot for sure. Um, I don't think now's the time to, to – really sit back and dwell on it too much there's like you said you there's still work for us to to be done we got uh another series coming up we got to win four more games but uh definitely uh proud of everybody in that locker room right now and what we've accomplished so far but uh definitely uh still work to be done luke jelena thank you sam she after all those years in the league uh, having a chance finally to win that cup uh, what that means for you for you going to the Stanley Cup final? Uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm excited. Just like I was excited to play uh, every game in this playoff so far. It's uh, whether you're 20 or 35. It's an exciting time, and to still be playing hockey in uh, into July now, I think uh, it's probably the, the longest time uh, anyone's played in in there, minus the the bubble last year. So uh, we're happy to to still be playing, and uh, we're excited going forward. Stu Cowan. A question for Kerry. Kerry, nobody knows more about the pressure of playing this city than you do. What can you say about Cole Caulfield and the way he's come in as a 20-year-old and handled everything that's been thrown at him so far? Yeah, it's uh, he's got such a great attitude. I think that's uh, you know, one of his strongest assets. Um, you know, he's just so enthusiastic and, and happy, and you know he works really hard too. Jean-François Chamon. Question for either Shea or Carrie. Uh, do you see Phil Dano being able to do a really big play in overtime and seeing uh, Artur Likkanen getting the, the winning goal? How proud are you for those guys who are playing pretty hard defensively during during that series? Um, honestly, I think that uh, they don't get enough credit. Uh, obviously, um, you know their their biggest job is shutting the other team's top lines down, which they've done an exceptional job, and um, for them to to get a goal for us to move on is um, it's awesome. I feel great for them and uh, they're going to have another big challenge coming up, whether it's uh, the Islanders or Tampa, you know, it's, uh, it's their job. They know it. And uh, any chance they can chip in as well, they're, they're happy to do so. But I think the the main thing for them and a lot of guys is uh, taking care of uh, the other end first. Jonathan Bernier. Merci Sam, a question for either one of you. What makes uh, the success of a team in overtime and the playoffs? Um, it's just uh, just sticking with it. Um, you know, there's obviously uh, you know luck involved. Um, it's uh, just a lot of hard work and, and you know taking uh, taking those uh, opportunities when you get them. Alexis Belanger Champagne. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Question for Kerry. Uh, you've been in Montreal for a long time. Just uh, what this celebration mean to you after the game with the fans cheering, even though it's only 3,500, they were really loud. What does this mean to you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited for those, uh, those that were lucky enough to be in the building. Um, you know, everybody in the city is obviously ecstatic. Um, you know, it's uh it's a fun time to be uh to be in Montreal right now. I think two more for Kerry and Shea. Marc Antoine Gaudin. Yeah, uh, my question is for Kerry. Uh, Kerry, the uh, the team had missed the playoffs for a few a few years. Um, you know, you guys had a difficult season last year until you finally made it to the bubble. Well, how was the process to you know? Think that you're going. You, the team is is in seems far from from success, and all of a sudden, a year after, you end up in the Stanley Cup Finals. I mean, the 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 mental work to uh, making sure that you know this this team is going in the right direction. Is it something that's that's been difficult to believe in this team uh, in the long run? Uh... You know, honestly, uh, we wouldn't be here right now if we didn't believe. 
uh, you know, we've always uh, just kind of stuck with it and um, just not doubting ourselves. We'll take the last question from Richard Labbé. Yeah, on, on that note, Gary, uh, you know, when, when it's down, you guys are down 3 1 to Toronto um, in that first round series. You said you still believe, but did you did you really think you could be where you are right now at that point? <laughs> That's what I just said. 